As competition heats up in Dubai's property market, investors are reaping the rewards with more options and even bigger benefits. NMR is making a bold competitive move by launching Parkland right next to Hyde Residences, which is just steps from Dubai Hills Mall and Dubai Hills Park. They're undercutting prices and timing the launch while Hyde Residences is still available for sale. This is fierce competition. But let's see if Imar can match the quality five-star living and pricing of Hyde Residences. Let's find out. To start with, the location. The prime location within Dubai Hills, Park Lane by Imar is coming right here, within walking distance of both Dubai Hills Park and Dubai Hills Mall. And this is a close-up view. This is the Dubai Hills Mall. Here is the Parkland, and here is Hyde Residences. They're right on Dubai Hills Park. Here's a drone short view. You can see the Dubai Hills Mall. Now let's go to the plot location. And the corner plot is Parkland. And right beside it is the Hyde Residences. The locations are nearly identical, but Parkland's corner plot gives it a slight advantage. I give this point to Imar. Exterior, Parkland is G plus 23. While Hyde Residences are G plus 24, both are standard structures with nothing too special. So this is a tie. Layouts. Here's the layout of Parkland. The units are slightly larger than usual for MR, but the one bedroom lacks a powder guest room. The two and three bedrooms has only one in suite with the rest lacking this feature as well. Now let's look at Hyde Residences. The layouts and sizes are superior. Most include a guest powder room, even in the one bedroom, two bedroom and three bedroom. And the two and three bedroom units come with a maid's room and all bedrooms come with an attached bathroom. In summary, Hyde Residences wins in terms of layouts and sizes. Prices. Imar is the clear winner here. Prices are around AED 2,200 dirhams per square feet versus Hyde's AED 3,300 dirhams per square feet. So Hyde might offer better build quality, but Imar's lower prices give it the edge. Imar wins again. Amenities. Hyde residences offer more premium amenities, though many are paid. Both projects feature podium level amenities, infinity pools, gyms, and pedal courts. Parkland adds a basketball court and a larger podium. And Imar is known for creating exceptional communities, but Hyde's summer house and co-working spaces, plus this listening room are a big pluses. However, Imar gets the point for overall living experiences. So I give this to Imar as well, again. Service charges. Imar is 18 dirhams per square feet. Hyde is 23 dirhams per square feet. So I give this point to Imar again. Payment plan. Parkland's payment plan is flexible and is ideal for business owners who want interest-free payments. Hyde's plan is tailored for end users with banks offering 50% mortgages even for non-residents. This gives Hyde the point here. So Hyde's win in the payment plan. Returns or the rental returns for MR and Hyde will be similar. Expect between 5 to 6% net rental income for long term rentals and around 10% for short term Airbnb rentals. So, in conclusion, MR is the top developer in Dubai when it comes to master developments. But smaller developers of the Hyde residences like City View offer better build quality and they focus more on quality and finishing, which is, of course, a very big plus. But ultimately, it comes down to pricing and value. The experiences offered by each project will reflect what you pay. Since Parkland's entry barrier is lower, I lean towards MR and MR wins. Parkland is in a prime spot within Dubai Hills and is one of the last spots right on Dubai Hills Park. There are thousands of apartment towers being launched in Dubai and it's crucial to invest in one that offers unique advantages like Parkland. The pricing is attractive, particularly for the one and three bedroom units. I wouldn't recommend the two bedrooms due to the higher price point. If you are interested, I'll need your passport copy, email and phone number to submit to MR. Once you're on the list, you will need to pay a 10% down payment plus a 4% DLD fees. There's no commission since you're buying directly from the developer. It's a secure transaction with all payments going into a government monitored escrow account through the Dubai Land Department, DLD. Plus you're dealing with one of the largest and most trusted real estate developers in the world. This is a highly sought after community and I can't recommend it enough. It's one of the best investments you can make in Dubai. I say this because I used to live in Dubai Hills myself. I know the value of investing here in Dubai Hills. The investor launch was yesterday and today, Monday, August 12th, is the retail investor launch. Inventory is limited. 
and as majority of the units will be snapped by the investors as it's a prime spot. I'm Asfar from Ultra Homes Real Estate. Looking forward to working with you. Let's make it happen.